The people of Bahrain have depended on the sea as a major source of food and income for many years. Take the pearling industry for example. But now the marine life in the Arabian Gulf is in serious trouble. Many years of overfishing and reclaiming land have really damaged the coral reefs. But thankfully there are people who are going out of their way to restore these reefs. We are going to Reef Arabia who have organized a learning event with the Entrepreneurs' Organization about artificial reefs and marine rehabilitation. Over the last few years we've seen tremendous devastation to the marine environment. I as a kid remember when I used to go to the sea and used to go snorkeling and diving and how it used to be compared to now and this event was important to, to highlight what we can do today to reverse the damage that has been done. We cannot turn back the clock but we can do things to help the environment. We were appointed by the Bahrain government in uh, November of 2011 to create a series of artificial reefs in Bahrain's waters to try and offset the environmental damage that has resulted from overfishing, bad fishing practices and dredging and reclamation. Bahrain needs to really educate the fishermen and really control the number of fishermen uh, fishing in its waters because uh, that is a major problem at the moment that we've got. Eventually what we're doing is creating a new town which fish from existing sources can come in, they can breed, create new fish, more numbers and again try and offset that damage. The contract was actually for 10 reefs in total and each reef is 262 uh, concrete units. We've actually finished all 10, we put the last reef in the water last week uh, and now we're embarking on the monitoring procedures which will go on for another year. What the government really should do is go and actually make sure that uh, the, the artificial reef areas are protected and you know Coast Guard has to be there to make sure that um, the fishermen don't fish on these reefs so that it's sustainable in the long term. We'll be right back after a message from our sponsor. Have you ever wanted to share exclusive deals with fellow EO members? Now you can. Introducing EO Marketplace, a platform that presents special offers from members, non-members, and EO partners. EO Marketplace is a simple yet powerful way to collaborate through the EO network, where you can both receive and give exclusive offers. It's that simple. It's EO Marketplace. Share a deal. Get a deal. Enjoy. And now back to MyBahrain.me. Before this event started, it's an idea that, that came to me. Why don't we sponsor a reef in the shape of the EO logo, which is the letter E and O? And we calculated that to put reefs enough to make this logo, we would need around 22 reefs. We would need 1,100 dinars. And today we had pledges of over 1,700 dinars. And if we can forge that sort of relationship with those guys, we can create a reef that one can use for fisheries purposes, for maintaining fish stocks, but also creating recreational sites for people to dive without running the risk of people spear fishing on it or fishermen overfishing. This learning event was a real fun and educational way to show us how important it is that we take care of our marine life. Visit their website, reefarabia.com, to find out more on how to save our environment. My name is Suzanne from mybahrain.me.